I guess we'll get going. You're just waiting for me to stand up, aren't you? Uh, welcome to our concert this afternoon, put on by the music department. My name is Ronnie Anderson, and I'm super glad that you've been able to join us this afternoon. Um, this, these students have been working very, very hard uh, to prepare this music, not only for this weekend, but for our tour coming up. This concert is uh, a benefit concert, um, so there will be an offering taken up at the end. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about our tour and where we're going and what we're doing. Um, I'm taking these three groups. The first one is uh, the band, which you see up there. We are up to nearly 25 people in band, which I'm very, very happy with. That is my goal. <laughs> Thank you. 25 instrumentalists is my goal. Um, so at least for a school about this size, that's pretty, that's pretty good. So I'm very, very happy. They sound amazing. They're doing awesome. I even have a couple eighth graders from our uh, Caldwell Adventist Elementary School down the road joining us. Um, there are the tuba back there. Wave, Matthew. That's Matthew. Wave. There he is. The berry saxophone, Liam. And uh, Taylor, the oboe player. And then the uh, trumpet there on the end, Landon. So, there. It's really cool that they can join us and, and play with us and get a little bit of more experience playing. Um, they're not all eighth graders either. I have a seventh grader and a sixth grader, I think. No, you're seventh, you're seventh, eighth, seventh, eighth. Yeah, so two seventh graders, two eighth graders. Pretty, very, very cool. And I'm glad they add a lot to the band as you're gonna hear, especially on the low end of things. So that's really cool. The second group I'm taking is Corral. Um, that's our select choir, which I started this year. I have 42 kids in choir at the moment, which is over half the school, or very close to half the school, which is very exciting for me. And Corral is about half of those kids. They had to come decide they wanted to do it, and they tried out for me, and it's been very fun to grow that program. We got to go, um, you saw we sang for the Steelheads, Idaho Steelheads, the national anthem. We've sang for many other things, and now we get to go on tour, which is really fun. And the third and final group, last but not least, is Soundwave, the advanced handbell group, which you see portrayed before you here. And it's very difficult for me to do these concerts in here now because they stretch from pew to pew. And I don't know how I'm gonna get up to the band now. <laughs> so, but they're uh, a lot of fun. They've played for a lot of things as well. Um, so those are the three groups I'm taking on tour. This is my first year doing a tour, and I didn't ex realize how expensive it is. We're still about $2,000 short, and so that's why we're doing this concert. I would like to make it a yearly thing as a fundraiser for the music department, but if you feel so inclined after the concert today, that is where your funds will go, is towards tour, so these kids can have that experience. If you were in music, you know how impactful tours can be. They're what I remember from high school or a big part of it. So I will stop yakking now. You can read more. Um, I wrote a little blurb on the back of the program for you. So, uh, before we get started, let's have a brief word of prayer, and then the band will open things. Heavenly Father, I want to ask you to come into this place, um, fill, fill these uh, musicians with your spirit, help us to sing and play um, perfectly, a little selfishly of me, but it's not for our glory, it's for your glory. So help us to um, not take away from the meaning of the music for the listener. Thank you for loving us. Please bless the offering that is taken up today. Uh, multiply it so that we may be able to accomplish what we need to. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. The first song you hear is Glorioso, played by the band. A fun, inspiring piece. Thank you. 
The next group you'll hear is Soundwave. How cool are they? how cool is the band? I heard so I try not to brag because I feel awkward about it. But um, when I started last year, we didn't fill the stage. There were, I think, how many were out? 13, I think, when we started, which was still pretty good. I was pretty happy with 13. But now that we're up to 25 and we can fill the stage, and this church has gotten us small, it, it does my heart good. I have to tell them to play quieter because they're so loud in here. So, um, yeah. And they sound good, don't they? They sound awesome. So, um, this next group, Soundwave, Advanced Bells, uh, will play one of the same pieces we played this morning, but these two you haven't heard before, uh, Vivaccio and A Joyous Ring, both very lively, very uh, inspiring pieces for bells, uh, so we hope you enjoy these two pieces.
I was going to talk more because they have to reset bells, but I think they're done. So. The next group you'll hear is Chorale, our select choir. Um, as, as I mentioned before, we've had the opportunity to sing for a lot of events. The first time we sang was the first time we ever performed. It was earlier this year when the Nampa Church opened their community center. That was the first time we'd ever sung. It was outside with a keyboard, and we weren't sure if we'd be able to hear ourselves at all, because if you've sung outside, you know what I'm talking about. It's hard on the voice, and you can't hear anything. And they did it, and they were like, oh, that wasn't too bad. We're good. I was like, yep, you were pretty good. <laughs> and uh, so we progressed. We went, uh, we did our Christmas concert. They sang a couple harder songs. And then in January, no, February, we went to Walla Walla, and we sang in their uh, choir and orchestra festival. I took, I think, 18 people, 18 of our students went. It was a fun time. They came back exhausted, as they should, singing six to eight hours a day. <laughs> um, some of them lost their voices. I have a really cool story, though. Tally, I'm sorry, I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> um, this is Tally. She's an alto. She's very sweet and very quiet, which is why I apologize for picking on her. But when we were up there, she lost her voice on Friday. And she was a little upset because having worked on all this music in the honor choir and all the stuff she couldn't sing, 
And so I was like, okay, well, just vocal rest. You can't talk until Saturday morning. So she did it. She didn't talk. She didn't sing. Didn't really talk at all at Vespers Friday. Saturday came. She sang at church a little bit. She's like, uh, I kind of just mouthed the words during church. And I was like, that's fine. She's like, but well, I'm going to try to sing in the concert. And lo and behold, after the concert, she came up to me and she said, my voice worked. It was back. And we prayed about it. She, I know she prayed about it, at least. I know I did. So God really blessed. And I had the same experience when, when God needs you to bless people and be a blessing and you're willing, he will help you. So um, that is the story of Corral. They came back from there with a couple songs that they learned amped up. And they sing much more confidently than they did before this experience. So testament to Walla Walla D. Nickel, Choir and Orchestra Festival is killer. It's awesome. Builds confidence and all that kind of stuff. They got to see that they're not the only kids that like to sing. You go sing with 200 other high school students that also love to sing. That is in a full orchestra. That is an experience of a lifetime. So this is Chorale. I hope you enjoy their music. Uh, the first couple we're singing for you. We Shall Walk Through the Valley in Peace is one we learned at Walla Walla. So is Saints Bound for Heaven. Both of those, um, well, Saints Bound is a pilgrim hymn. Not a pilgrim hymn. Uh, I can never remember the word. Pioneer, thank you. Pioneer hymn. That's what it is from our early church. And then the last one, Ubi Caritas, is in Latin. And it is wherever my music is. Can I have it? Tell you what, I'll read you the words when we get there so that they can have water. The first song, We Shall Walk Through the Valley in Peace.
I can read the words to you now. So ubi caritas, it's Latin, and it means, so the words go ubi caritas et amor deus ibi est. If you recognize amor, love, and deus obviously is God. So it says, where there is charity and love, God is there. The love of Christ has gathered us as one. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us honor and love the living God. And from a sincere heart, let us love one another. So that's the lyrics. You get to hear the band again. They're going to play two pieces for you. The first one is one of the first ones we learned this year. Um, it's called The Water is Wide. Um, and although relatively simple in technical uh, whatever, technical ability, sure, we'll go with that. Um, it is a beautiful song. And it's, I think it's a hymn, and I can't remember the name off the top of my head. It might just be The Water is Wide. Who knows? Uh, the second one is On Joyful Wing. That one is a hymn, and I do remember it. It's from Near My God to Thee, um, the verse that says On Joyful Wing. And I think it's the second or third verse, or maybe the last one. Um, somebody could correct me if I'm wrong. But that's the song. It's from Near My God to Thee. You'll hear a trio of a trumpet, a uh, trombone, and a saxophone in the middle of it that portrays the theme of Near My God to Thee. So uh, the water is wide, and then On Joyful Wing.
You once again get to hear from Soundwave. Uh, the next two songs, one you heard this morning uh, at church. It was the special music, the one to the tune of Be Still My Soul. Uh, this is one I wasn't sure I liked when I gave it to them. And they played it, and it sounded good. And I was like, oh, that's cool. We'll do that song. So this is one that I've kind of fallen in love with. Um, and then the second one, Into the Wilderness, we've played this probably at every concert we've played this year. It's become one of my favorites very quickly. It's the story of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness through handbells. Who would think to do that? Jason Krug. If you ever want handbell music, he's the dude to look up. Just letting you know. Jason Krug. It looks like Krug because it's K-R-U-G. But anyway, he's got a lot of really, really cool compositions. We did a few of his last year, and we're doing more of them in the future because they're good. But it's the story of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. Super cool. You'll hear the shift in the three temptations and then the acceptance and all that kind of stuff at the end. Very, very cool piece of music. But first, uh, Be Still My Soul, and then Into the Wilderness.
forgot to mention this, and I kept forgetting to mention this through the whole program. This is being live streamed, so if you want to watch it again, or you have friends or family that would like to watch it again, or you have parents that would like to watch it for the first time, because I forgot to mention it, now you know. Happy. Um, the other thing I was going to say, um, if you watch up here, if you how many of you have played bells before? Handbells. Wow, that's a lot of people actually. Yeah, you watch him down on the end, Nathaniel. Hold up the big C. I've done this before. That's C3 on the piano, which is the third whatever. It's C3. It's one of the low ones. That's C8. That's the difference in size. And he still plays that with one hand. So he's ridiculous. But if you watch, they play multiple bells. He's got about seven or eight bells he plays there. And then up here, they play four in each hand, all the way down to about here. Two, sorry, two in each hand, four total. If they could do four, I'd be... <laughs> we could do a lot harder music if they could do four. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's called four in hand. That's why I get confused. But yeah, so they're playing four bells, and sometimes they're switching because there's key changes. If you watch them, I don't know how they do it. It's pretty incredible. I bring the music, and I go, can you do this? And they go, yep, we'll figure it out. It's really amazing. So they're pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, just a reminder, this is Into the Wilderness, the one about the temptation, Jesus' temptation. So listen for those chord changes or the mood changes, um, and you'll hear what Jason Krug was thinking when he wrote this piece.
The last piece you'll get to hear from the band is a piece called Shaker Variants. Can anybody guess what this piece is about? I'll give you a hint. It's Shaker Tune. Do you know what the Shakers are? Yeah, they're a group of people. It's crazy, right? Um, it's, okay, I'll try it this way. Um, Nobody knows, really? Well, you know what Shaker is, but do you know what like the tune could be? It could be a lot of tunes. You're right. Simple Gifts. I heard it. Let's go. You've probably heard this before. <laughs> yeah, it's the tune of Simple Gifts, uh, which is always a favorite and very, very fun to play for instrumentalists. And this piece is a challenge for us, so it's been a good push for them. Um, to step up to the plate, and boy howdy are they. So um, I hope you enjoy Shaker Variants as we play it for you.
people when the trumpet sounds You better fall down and worship it on the ground The king's got power and he ain't no fool And if you go against his wishes, that ain't cool So beware, take care, now do what I say Or we'll throw you in the furnace this very day Now Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, this one thing all three didn't know, that if they kept their faith and their faith was strong, the power on earth could do them wrong. So the three brave men chose to disagree and not go along with the king's decree. They said, to worship the statue of the Now is the time uh, where we're going to take the offering up. Just a reminder what it's for. It goes towards our tour. Um, and here's why I'm asking. When I was in high school, tours were awesome. I love tours. And um, I'm going to be a little brutally honest right now. I don't think the kids should have to pay to go on tour because I'm forcing them to go. They don't get an option. because. As you know, if I took half the band, we would be terrible. So, and it, it feels a little weird to me to make them pay when I'm having them go. And so I'm trying my best to not have them pay. And that means I need a little more money. So that's why I'm asking for this. Um, 
If you're feeling generous, if you've been blessed by the music, um, I'd ask that you uh, give from your heart. Um, as we sing this last song, some of the seniors are going to come up. If you'd like to give another way besides cash or whatever ha you have on you, uh, feel free to talk to our finance ladies. They'd be happy to help you out. And thank you for whatever you're willing to give. Thank you for being here. I hope you've been blessed. Um, that's the whole goal of why we do what we do. And we're hoping we can go bless a lot of other people on our tour. So the last song is No Time. And it's another pioneer hymn um, that looks forward to the advent of Jesus coming. So, hope you enjoy No Time.
really would just be a person waving my arms without the kids. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Um, I hope you've been blessed by our music, and uh, Dean Chanel will uh, close us out with a prayer. Please rise with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this rainy Sabbath that we could gather together and fellowship and reminisce and listen to the beautiful music that you have um, put out through these kids. Thank you for Mr. Anderson and for each of these music groups. Um, I, I pray that a special blessing over them as they get ready to go on tour, that you would guide and that you would bless um, and that you would bless the offering that was put out today, that um, it would go very far. And I pray that you be with all of us as we go about the rest of our days and our lives and that we remember these moments. I pray these things in your name.